Hey guys, Zwilight here. This time we're going to do something a little different. Uh, we're going to be tiering some Pokemon today. So I know Scarlet and Violet, they've been out for quite some time now, but I just wanted to do something a little different. Anyway, let's do this. Let's see, we're going to start with uh, Sprigatito. Sprigatito. Where to put this guy? You know what? Sprigatito's B. I mean, I like Sprigatito. It's not anything fancy. You know, it's a cute starter, but it's not really my favorite. I mean, I like cats, don't get me wrong, but I don't know. You have to be a certain special kind of cat for me to, like, put you above B. Kind of like Florigato. Florigato's freaking awesome. For a middle stage Pokemon, like, it's honestly one of the best ones. Because, let's be real, the middle stage Pokemon are typically, you know, awkward. They're just funny looking, you know? It's like that awkward teenager stage, but Florigato's pretty cool. Um, so, Meowskarada. I think Meowskarada's like, A. I don't really like, I don't like Meowskarada as much as some people, but I do recognize that it is a solid design. So yeah, it goes to A. Um, let's see. Now, I'll tell you what. Don't hate me for this, but I think that Fue Coco is like a B. I know that a lot of people like Fue Coco. You know, I know that it's a crime to put him anything below S, but Fue Coco, I, I've always thought he was kind of lame. So, yeah, don't hate me for that, but yeah, I've always thought he was kind of lame. Uh, Crocolore. I'm not gonna lie, Crocolore is kind of like a C. Crocolore is kind of ugly. Like, let's be real. Like, the only thing that saves him is the little nest on top of his head that also looks like a sombrero like that's a pretty funny detail about it but other than that he's not all that great uh, now Skeledurge Skeledurge is also pretty cool now I like Skeledurge a lot um, I gotta say he's probably my least favorite of the final evolutions for the starters but that doesn't mean that he's bad though so with that being said uh, yeah, he's, he's cool. He's cool. Uh, let's see, Quacks. Oh, whoops. Actually moved Skeldurge there. Quaxly. You know what? Quaxly uh, also be. You know, like, the first forms of the, all the starters, they're kind of just alright. You know what I'm saying? Like, Quaxly is pretty much just a duck. Though, hey, shout out to Loxton and Noggin. If you watch his videos, you'll see... Uh, a little bit more uh, about what's going on with Quaxley. You know, he looks a little basic, but there are some design choices that Game Freak took seriously with him. Um, okay, so I gotta be honest. Uh, Quaxwell, I don't like Quaxwell like at all. I think Quaxwell is pretty ugly. <laughs> like, I think that he's like super ugly. Like, when I saw him, I was fully expecting the final evolution to be hot garbage. But, thankfully, it is not hot garbage. In fact, Quackleval is my favorite of the three starters. Like, there's a lot going on with Quackleval. Like, it has so much personality. It looks really cool. And it's a water fighting type. I've been begging for a water fighting type ever since Samurott. Now, we're not going to talk about Samurai because that's a whole nother can of worms. But no, Quackle Ball is freaking amazing. Like, the inspiration behind his design is interesting. I know a lot of people don't like it because it's quote unquote, you know, a flamboyant Blaziken, whatever. But no, it's freaking awesome. I love him. Uh, Lechonk. Lechonk's, um. Okay, so I'm going to put LeChonk in A just because of the name. Like, the name is absolutely the best thing about him. And he's not, like, terrible looking, but he's pretty basic, you know what I'm saying? But, like, the, the name, S tier. But the design is kind of eh, you know, so I'll put him in, like, A. I do like LeChonk. Oinkalone. Got to put him in C. Kind of disappointing. Like, let's be real. 
Like they had so many better ideas they could have uh, gone with. And they just went with pig. <laughs> you know? It's kind of like, uh, kind of like Bolton in a way. You know, Yamper is kind of unique, but not really. And then Bolton is literally just a dog. It's kind of like that in my eyes. They're not like terrible Pokemon, but they're just kind of meh. Tarantula. D. I actually don't like Tarantula, like, at all. Um, I see where they were going, but the concept is kind of dumb in my opinion. Uh, same thing with Spite Ops. Spite Ops is freaking lame. I do not like Spite Ops whatsoever. I think it looks creepy, and yeah, no. Yeah, I just don't like it. Okay, so, the next Pokemon. See, if it was uh, gameplay mechanics, I'd put Nimble in D. Because early in the game, I couldn't see that thing whatsoever, and I'd always run into it, and it was a start of battle, and waste so much time. Like, I could not see them for anything. Like, I already have really bad eyesight, and nimble, Nimbles, they were just the bane of my existence. But, if we're talking about design, Nimbles a C. I don't really feel anything towards it. It's not, like, terrible. But, it's not, you know, amazing. So... It's, it's whatever, you know, it's just a Pokemon. I don't hate it. Now, okay, Low Kicks. Low Kicks is ass. Low Kicks is freaking sick. Like, first of all, he's our first Dark and Bug. That's really awesome. And I mean, he's like a common Rider, like, fighting bug, you know? It's so freaking cool. I was one of the first people uh, to post on Twitter about uh, the new Double Kick animation, how there's no longer the awkward hopping and everything. And I used uh, double kick, uh, or I used low kicks, I should say, uh, as an example of how to use it. And his low, uh, double kick animation is freaking awesome. So, Pommy. Pommy. S. Plus. Pommy is the cutest thing in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and you can't convince me otherwise. Like, it's so freaking good. Like, as soon as I saw Pommy, I fell in love. Like, there is no Pikachu clone that can compare to Pommy. I don't care. I don't care what anyone says. Pommy is perfection. Now what is not perfection is Pomo. It goes to D just because of how unnecessary it is. I don't know why they decided to make this a three stage evolution and then they just basically get bigger, you know? So I do like Pomo, you know, the one I'm about to talk about in a little bit, but I think Pomo is like absolutely pointless. It doesn't look bad, but it's pointless. Therefore, it's going in the D tier. Now, Palmot. I think Palmot's like an A. So, I'm not in love with it as much as I am with Palmy. But, it's really cool. And it also gets bonus points for being kind of our first uh, fighting electric. I mean, we've got two of them in the same generation. But, yeah. like I've, I've always wanted an electric fighting type. They screwed me over with Zero Aura, and now they finally, you know, redeem themselves. So yeah, Palma's really cool. I like it. Um, let's see. Paldean Wooper. I mean, hey, Wooper's just like super cute, you know? Like, you can't really go wrong with Wooper. Uh, it doesn't really change much, other than like the color and all that. So I mean, it's basically just Wooper, and Wooper's great. That's all I can say about that. Claude Sire, I actually uh, liked Claude Sire a lot more than I thought I would because when I first saw it, I thought it looked kind of kind of weird. You know what I'm saying? Um, but as one of my friends would say, he's friend shaped. You know, he's just like a, a friend. You know, he's a buddy. So you know what? Can't really knock that. He's really cute, and he's a lot tankier than you would expect. So you know, he's really cool. Um, Tandem Mouse. Tandem Mouse is C. I don't really care. They're just mice. I, like, the entire line is just boring, if I'm being honest. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put the rest of them there as well. Like, they're just really boring. Don't really care too much about them. They're, they're broken in certain situations, usability-wise. But if we're talking about designs, nah. That they ain't it. That ain't it, Chief. Fido. Fido's S. I freaking love Fido. Once again, once he was revealed, like once I first saw him, I knew, I knew that was going to be one of my favorite Pokemon in this generation. 
I didn't use him. Actually, I take that back. I did use him uh, for like the first gem or so. Then I ditched him. But he was really cool. Like I like I like Fido a lot. He's super cute. And then um, Doc's Bun. Doc's Bun. Hmm. I think Doc's Bun like an A. Really cool design. Finally, a dog Pokemon that is not just a dog. I know they have some like that. Don't get me wrong, but like dog Pokemon are usually like super boring when they evolve, you know? Uh, so it's good to see that they took some creative liberties with Doc's Bun. Yeah, he's really cool. Um, let's see. Smolive. Smolive's like whatever. <laughs> I don't care. Like, I know a lot of people like Smolive. I heard a lot of people talk about how small it was, you know, hence the name and all that. But, uh, it's just, meh. It's okay. Dolive. Dolive is... Dolive, Dolive's probably in the same category. I don't really care about it too much. It's, um, super generic, I guess you could say. Like, Dolive's very generic. It's not bad, but there's nothing that stands out about it. However, Arbalova, I like it a little bit more. Like, Arbalova's really cool. Uh, it's very elegant. I like where they're going with it. Uh, I have a friend. Uh, uh, he loves using Arbalova in raids, and she can put in some work, you know? So I've learned to appreciate Arbalova a little bit in the battling um, aspect as well. But yeah, design-wise, no, she's really cool. Just not as cool as the ones that are above her, that's all. Squawkabilly. Uh, Squawkabilly is just kind of there. Like, let's be real, he's kind of like the chat tot of this generation. Nobody really pays him any mind. He has a gimmick. Nobody cares about the gimmick. He's just kind of there. I haven't heard anyone talk about Squawkabilly, like, at all, really, except for one of my friends who dislikes him. And I'm just like, like, how do you even remember this guy? Like, I always forget about him. And I'll just see one randomly in the wild. I'm like, oh, yeah, this Pokemon exists. It's kind of like Finneon and, and uh, Luminion, you know? They're just kind of there. So, yeah, it just goes in the C tier. Uh, let's see. Nackley. Okay, freaking. Nackley's cute. It's literally a, a Mario power up. It's a power up mushroom. Like, if, if Mario was in this game. Just by touching Nackley, he'd, he'd become Rock Mario, which is a thing, by the way. So, yeah, that's freaking awesome. Uh, no, he's cool, though. He's just like a little mushroom guy. Like, he's also a friend. Um, now, Nacklestack. I don't like Nacklestack. I'm going to be real. I think I think Nacklestack's kind of like a D Pokemon. Like, I know people, like, people joke about it being like Minecraft and everything, but I don't know. It's just weird looking it's just a bunch a, a stack of rocks or bricks so to speak you know so I am not a fan however um, garganical or garganical however you want to say it I think he's I think he's pretty cool like I don't have any like overwhelming attachment to him so I can't put him above B but it's a good mod for sure also one of the few uh, tanky mods that are actually successful in today's metagame. So he has that going for him too, you know? Yeah, I like him. And his ability is, is really, like, unique. It's really unique. Um, yeah. So that's all I gotta say about uh, Garganacle. Now, bruh. Annihilate. Annihilate is S+. Like, Annihilate is beyond amazing. When, when Game Freak created this Pokemon, I feel like they knew it was going to be a big hit. Like, ignoring how broken it is in battle, you know, like, it's literally like Akuma, or Akuma, uh, the Pokemon. <laughs> like, it's so cool. Uh, this is how you make a good evolution for an old Pokemon. Like, I think this is my favorite example of an old Pokemon uh, getting an evolution. My second favorite being uh, Obstagoon. I love Obstagoon a lot. Um, but yeah, no, Annihilate is freaking sick, and you can't, you can't go wrong with Annihilate. So, Trocadet? Trocadet's cool. I like Trocadet a lot. Uh, I use, like, okay, so I will say, Trocadet sucks. <laughs> he really does suck, like, when it comes to battling. 
I had one for the longest time before I could evolve it into my um, Sarah Ledge. But hey, he's still a cool guy, you know? Uh, and he was one of the first shinies that I picked up. Because, uh, spoiler alert, Sarah Ledge is oh, my favorite Pokemon for this generation. Like, just straight up. Uh, so yeah, Charcadet's cool. Just a little fighting guy. Armor Rouge. Armor Rouge is ass. Like, I gotta be real. At first, I didn't really like Armor Rouge as much as I do now. Cause I, I, I've always thought it was cool. Like, it, it's really cool. Like, it's a Mega Man character. Like, come on. Mega Man is one of my favorite series, of course. Um, but I didn't like it as much as I, uh, I've grown to like it. Mainly because uh, the reason I've grown to like it so much is because I've used it in a lot of raids. And it's super great. It's amazing in raids. Uh, and I don't know, it's just really cool, like, it has arm cannons, or an arm cannon, uh, so yeah, it's good, it's good, really cool, I wish it shiny was better, uh, but, I mean, you know how Game Freak is when it comes to shinies, uh, now, like I said, spoiler alert, Sarah Ledge is my new favorite Pokemon, so he goes at the very top of, uh, S+, plus. like, look at that guy, he's like, the perfect mod like yes he may be edgy but I don't care like edgy is cool like that's why so many uh, people are drawn to these kind of Pokemon you know what I'm saying like edgy is cool and that's all there is to it that's why Shadow the Hedgehog is so popular you know I don't know it's perfection and the fact that uh, you know it has a it has uh, two swords you know a dual wheels like dual wielding is always awesome once again it's a Mega Man character it's Proto Man specifically uh, let's see. Tadbulb. Tadbulb is lame. I don't think anybody really cares if I put Tadbulb in D tier. I mean, it's, it's barely a Pokemon, if I'm being real. Like, it's literally just a bulb that has, like, a tadpole tail. It, it's just, no. It's a waste. Now, Billy Bolt. I like Billy Bolt. I like Billy Bolt a lot. Like, I don't know. I don't really go for like fat, quote unquote, Pokemon like Billy Bolt usually. But I don't know. There's just there's just something charming about Billy Bolt. Yeah, I mean, you can't really go wrong with him. Now, um, okay, uh, Watrol. He's uh, he's just like. Ah, I can't even put him in B, because I don't, like, just hate him, but he's in C. He's also forgettable. I'm going to be real, like, Kilowattrel and uh, Wattrel, they're just kind of, like, meh. You know, they don't really stand out a whole lot. And I know there's this, uh, you know, argument about if he's even, like, the regional bird or not. But either way, like, it doesn't matter. He's just kind of, like, meh. I do like his typing. Electric and flying is really cool. I do like that typing. But, um, you know, they could have done a lot better. You know, same with Kilowattrel. He's just... He's just okay. Nope, nope. You're going down here. You do not get to go and be, my friend. Yeah, he's just okay. N nothing to write home about. I don't really know what to say about them. They're just kind of basic. The Dunsparce. Okay. Where do I even put this guy? Because... Okay, as an evolution, we all know it's disappointing, you know? But obviously Game Freak did that on purpose. Like, they did that on purpose. So, as a joke, I'll put it right here. Because as a joke evolution, they nailed it, you know? I mean, <laughs> people were expecting, like, you know, some kind of, like, amazing, like, dragon evolution or something. But no, it's just a bigger to done, or, or, or bigger done sparse. And uh, they did nail the joke. Is it a funny joke? Um, it depends. To me, it's like in between, you know? Because, I mean, on, on one end, I'm really sad that Dunsparce didn't get, like, a really cool evolution. But on the other end, it is pretty funny, you know? Like, it's just bigger Dunsparce. So, yeah, take that as you will. Farigaraf? Farigaraf's alright. I never really cared for, uh, Girafferig. But Farigaraf is the perfect way how to evolve this, this mod. I think the, um, 
kind of like the second tail becoming like a hoodie in a way. I think that that's a really unique take on it. So I can't knock it for that. Yeah, it's just okay. It's not bad. I mean, Mastiff kind of has to go in the D tier, right? I mean, I don't think anybody really likes it. It's not even that it's so ugly, it's cute, you know? It's just straight up butt ugly. And I'm sorry, that's just how it is. So it's going in the D tier. Now, Mabastiff. So Mabastiff is already, like, pretty cool. But it gets even more points because of Arvin. Let's be real. Like, Arvin's story was the best part of, of uh, Scarlet and Violet. Like, it really was. I thought Arvin was going to be, like, a butthole. But no, Arvin's, like, Arvin's a, a bro. You know, Arvin's a bro. He cares about his Pokemon. You know, he had a really rough life. Yeah, Arvin, Arvin is just bro, you know. We, hashtag... Stan Arvin. Okay, let's see. What we got here? Shrudel. I don't like Shrudel, like, at all. I think Shrudel's trash. I'm so glad it evolved into a much, much better Pokemon because who designed this? Like, who actually thought this was a good idea? Like, ugh, I get it. I get what its, what it's design is based on, but that doesn't mean I have to like it. But now, on the other hand, freaking Grafii. Grafii is S tier. Like, Grafii, when I saw him, I knew immediately it was going to go on my team, at least for a little while. I didn't know if he was going to be a permanent member, because there was just so many Pokemon. But yeah, I did use Grafii for a while, and I, I was not disappointed. Like... There's so many, like, design elements about him that just work. And, you know what? I know people say that Game Freak is lazy and whatnot. But when it comes to designs, almost no one can get get it right. You know what I'm saying? Like, Game Freak just has so many, like, inspirations and ideas. So you have to give him credit for that. And Grafia is a perfect example of that. So, yeah, good on you, Grafia. Um, So all the Tauros... They're just kind of B. I mean, they don't—they they change, but not by a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's cooler than regular Tauros, in my opinion. But that's about it. Uh, I do appreciate the fact that we have another uh, fire fighting type that is not a starter. Thank God. But other than that, it's just like whatever, you know. Bramblin C, like. It's cool. It's a tumbleweed and all. But they could have done so much better. Like, there's a, uh, a fan game. Pokemon Opalo. It has a tumbleweed uh, Tangela uh, regional variant. It is so much better than what they did with Brown Blood. It's super boring compared to what they did. So, yeah, I am not a fan. Not a fan at all. Bramblegast. I actually don't like Bramblegast, like, at all. Uh, for an evolution, it's quite boring, quite lame, I might say. And I don't know, it just looks worse than Bramblin'. Like, the little face that it has, it's just freaking, it's actually disturbing. I don't like it, plus it doesn't even change that much, but what they do change is the, is the worst. Like, that's all there is to it. I am not a fan, it's a tragedy. Um, now, what is not a tragedy is this little guy. This little guy is the best. I freaking love Toad's Cool. Like, the way that it runs. It's a meme mon, right? You know, like, it, it, like by itself, it's not that much, right? You know, it's not, like, anything special. But it's a meme mon. Like, you can't go wrong with it. Like, it is the funniest thing ever. And I applaud Game Freak for creating it. Um, Toad's Cruel? It's okay. I mean, it's, it's a little worse than regular Tentacruel, but it's not bad, you know? Uh, it's little snout thing is a little creepy, not gonna lie. But overall, it's a pretty, it's a pretty cool design. Cloth. Cloth. I, if I could put Cloth lower, like, this is one of the few Pokemon I would put lower than D. <laughs> if I had more than just, you know, uh, D as the last ranking, you know? Because... 
Oh my god, Cloth is so bad. As soon as I saw him, I'm like, yeah, this mod is not for me. Like, unless it's, like, somehow broken or something. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm ever gonna even, like, look its way. And, lo and behold, it's not broken, so... Yeah, Cloth is forever gonna be in the pits of hell for me. So, um... Caps Kid's pretty ugly. <laughs> I don't, like, hate him. But he's pretty ugly. And that's all I gotta say about him. Also, another one that's pretty ugly is its evolution. Skull Villain. And it's also a major disappointment. I get it. I get it. I get it. Trust me. I understand what the concept is. However, it is super disappointing because it looks incomplete. It should have had one more form where it's like a triple-headed, I don't know, pepper dragon or something. That would have been really cool. But as it is right now, it is super lame and underwhelming. I... Really hope it gets another evolution uh, down the line. Cause as it is right now, it's like super underwhelming. So Relor, D tier. Relor is freaking terrifying. Like you don't realize how ugly this mon is until you zoom in on its face, and it is the worst thing you will ever lay eyes on. Like it's freaking terrifying. It gets D tier just for that. And other than that, it's not even really all that special, you know? Now, Rapska. Rapska's cool. I like Rapska a lot. And I didn't even, like, realize this at first, but apparently, you know, it's like an uh, anagram. It has, uh, it's basically Scarab, but they just kind of, like, mixed up the words and everything. Or the letters, I should say. And that's freaking cool, you know? So the name and the design is amazing. However, there seems to be some kind of mix up in the Pokedex about what's going on with the little orb it's carrying, so there's that. It's a mystery. Um, Flittle. It's S tier. Flittle's super cute. I don't really hear people talk about Flittle like this, but I think that it's extremely adorable. Like, maybe this is gonna catch a lot of people off guard. I don't know. But Flittle's freaking amazing. Um, Let's see. Espatra? Espatra's A. I love this thing's design. And its cry is one of the most, like, enchanting things ever. The only thing I don't like about uh, Espatra is its eyes go a little crazy sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you look at its eyes, they do some weird things, you know? But other than that, it's a top tier design for sure. Uh, Tinka Tink. Just whatever. Don't really care. It's just kind of there. It's a it's a brat. Don't really care for brats all that much. So it's just kind of there. Tinka Tough. Tinka Tough's pretty cool. Uh, I'm actually gonna put it in B. Cause I like Tinka Tough quite a bit better than uh, Tinka Tink. And um, I'm sorry guys. I know this is gonna make a lot of people mad. Take a ton C. I mean, it's nothing special. I mean, it's like one of the more generic designs in the game. You know what I'm saying? And uh, just kidding. Obviously, it's a god tier design. Like, bruh. <laughs> Take a ton is awesome. Like, I don't understand anyone disliking this thing, you know? Other than the fact that they dislike it because it's popular, you know? Like, this is like 100% one of the most iconic designs in Scarlet and Violet, you know? I like her so much. Like, I love her so much. She's also a brat, and she's very violent for something that looks so adorable, but that's part of her charm, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it kind of sucks that my boy Corviknight gets uh, bullied, because Corviknight is one of my favorite Pokemon, but hey, I can't deny that Tinkaton is fantastic. So, Wiglet. Wiglet is awful. I just want to point that out right now. I don't think Wiglet has any redeeming qualities. It's not funny. It's the only funny thing that I've seen regarding Wiglet is that one glitch. You know which you know the one I'm talking about. You know the one. Uh, but other than that, Wiglet is just super boring. 
it's probably one of the worst Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet, if I'm being honest. They, they didn't change enough for it to be deemed a different Pokemon like it did with like Toad's Cool and Toad's Cruel, you know? And uh, same thing, I already put this guy up here. Uh, Welk Trio. Welk Trio. Um, yeah, I guess he's like. I guess he's like B. He's like B. I mean, he's okay. I mean, there's nothing crazy about him, but he's a little bit more interesting than Wiglet. Yeah, Wiglet's pretty pathetic. Bombardier? I think Bombardier is like C. Another Mon that's just kind of like whatever, you know? Like, the concept is a little disturbing. I mean, Storks are typically known for carrying babies, but in this case, they drop rocks, so do they also drop the babies that they carry? So, um... Finizen... Finizen's B. Finizen's B, that's all I can say. Uh, it's it's just a dolphin, but it's a, it's a cutie. I mean, you can't really knock the fact that it's adorable. Um... And then we have, okay, so Palafin. They don't have the graphic for um, Palafin's hero form. So I'm gonna be uh, judging it based on Palafin's hero form. I think it's look. I think it looks pretty cool. I know some people don't like it, but I think uh, Palafin's hero form looks really cool. It's like All Might, you know? It's like if All Might was a dolphin. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's an interesting concept, I like it. I will say, uh, didn't expect a random dolphin to be like the strongest thing to ever release in uh, Scarlet and Violet, but I mean, hey, here we are. Varum, Varum is whatever. I don't really care for it. Like, honestly, I feel like they should have just had like Reva Varum and left it at that. Like, Varum was just kind of pointless. It's just kind of there. Nobody cares about it. It's really annoying on the world map, especially if you're trying to like shiny hunt. Now, Revavroom is pretty cool, in my opinion. I like Revavroom a lot. Um, sadly, it's not as useful as it could have been for a Steel and Poison type, but I think it's really cool. I do wish that it would have been a little bit more, I don't know, mechanical, because like as it is right now, it's very, it's very weird, you know, like it's not as much of a machine as you would think it is or uh, you would think it should be but um it's okay I mean it's, it's alright Cyclozar Cyclozar is B I mean it's like the perfect spot for the in-between of Koraidon and Miraidon you know so just kind of there I like him though I used one in my playthrough and it was it was pretty useful now, one Pokemon that... Okay, so, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I'm gonna let you know right now, Orthworm, my least favorite Pokemon in the game. Straight up. I can't stand this Pokemon. This Pokemon freaking sucks. Like, it's just a worm with a metal plate around its neck, quote-unquote, and then it's little arms that comes out. It's the stupidest thing ever. Like, who thought this Pokemon was a good idea? Like, they, they deserve to be fired. They deserve to be fired immediately. I hate this Pokemon so much. So yeah, Orthworm, worst Pokemon in the game. Don't at me. Glimmit, you can barely even see it. So I mean, I don't really care. It's all right. There's nothing crazy about it. It just looks like a little flower with a big butt. <laughs> That's about it. Now Glamora, Glamora's S tier. I love Glamora so much. It's so freaking beautiful. And it's so unusual, you know? Like, I know it's meant to be like that, because it's like the one Mon that's like, what? I think it's made of Terra in, uh, Terra Shard or something like that. Uh, but yeah, no, it's really, it's really such a beautiful and mysterious Pokemon. And the way that it moves, it's enchanting. Like, when it uses its uh, uh, signature move, Mortal Spin, the greatest thing ever. I love it so much. Grievard... Grievar is like C. Nothing too crazy. It's just kind of C-ish. 
it's way better than Houndstone. That's all I can say about that. Uh, Cause Houndstone's D. Houndstone's ugly. I don't like it at all. It had so much potential, and yeah, it it just it just sucks. That's all I can say. I don't know what else to say about that. Flamigo, Flamigo also sucks. Like I get it. It looks like a punching glove. At least its body does. I get it. People have pointed that out. But let's be real. It's still just a flamingo. Even its name, they just took away the like in part, you know. <laughs> and it's flamingo. So no flamingo, just flamingo. <laughs> it's so bad. Now, the title on the other hand, the title is super cute. Like, I know it feels weird seeing me put him, like, below Flittle. I just think Flittle's cuter. But Satala is, like, super cute, though. Like, it's definitely one of the cutest Pokemon in this generation. And you can't really deny that. So, uh, so Titan? I think the Titan's alright. Uh, its mouth goes crazy. It's not the most flattering Pokemon, uh, but... It's pretty cool, like it's a beast, it's a titan, uh, hence the name. And it's one of the few ice types that can actually get stuff done, so I like that about it. So King Gambit, um, I don't know. I think King, King Gambit's like only okay. Um, Bisharp is way cooler. I know where they're going uh, with King Gambit. But, no, nah, I don't know. It just doesn't really do it for me. Like, Bisharp is just, like, beyond cooler. Like, it's leagues above uh, King Gambit. But it's not, like, King Gambit's not the worst. Like, he's not going to go into D tier. Veluza. Veluza's, uh, like, C. Uh, it's, now, if it was, like, uh, based on how much trouble a Pokemon gives you... Then it would be S because holy crap does Veluza swim fast in the water and there's just no escaping it. Like I I freaking pray for those who shiny hunt this thing because I can't imagine the horror that you have to go through. Like it sounds terrible. Um Dondozo though. Dondozo's A. I like Dondozo a lot. The name is cool. It's a like I know it's supposed to be stupid, like like it's literally a dummy, but it looks fierce, like it really does. I like Dondozo a lot, and it's unkillable. It pretty much is unkillable. Tatsugiri, on the other hand, like okay, it gets a B only because of the meme, like its face. It just looks like it's done with you, you know. It's like it's looking at you like you're stupid, you know. And I just love that so much about it. But other than that, Tatsu Gear just kind of eh. I do like how it's like the brain of the of the two when it comes to Don Dozo and Tatsu Gear. But uh, other than that, it's just kind of like whatever, you know. Now we're down to the final mons. Okay. So, Great Tusk, S tier Pokemon, no doubt. Great Tusk is amazing. I I picked Violet, but Great Tusk definitely had the better design from day one. I was going to pick Violet uh, no matter what, but I was kind of jealous of Scarlet when I saw Great Tusk because of how cool he is, you know? A killer design. Screamtail. Screamtail is just a B. She's okay. It's like, what if... Majin Buu was a balloon, you know? So, I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's okay. Brute Bonnet, down to the bottom you go. I don't like it. It's super ugly. I, I don't like it whatsoever. It's a Moongus, but three times worse. And I already don't really care for a Moongus all that much as a Pokemon. It's useful in battle, but that's about it. So no, uh, you go down there. Um, Fluttermane, it's a B, only because it's basically just bigger, uh, Miss, uh, Miss Drevis. I like Miss Drevis, so obviously I gotta like bigger Miss Drevis. But it doesn't change a lot, like, 
people people crap on the future mons uh because they don't really change a whole lot miss uh fluttermane and uh screamtail they're kind of the same you know they don't really change all that much like yes they have differences but are those differences really worth a whole new pokemon you know so yeah they all have their ups and downs you know anyway so fluttermane goes and b uh, Slitherwing. Sorry, but I don't like it. I don't like Slitherwing at all. I know some people do. I know some people do. I think it's pretty meh. Um, Iron Treads. Not really a fan of it either. It looks awkward. I think most people will agree that it looks kind of awkward. I do like how it rolls around. That's pretty funny. But other than that, it's just like, nah, that ain't it, Chief. But oh my god, Iron Bundle is so good. I love Iron Bundle so much. Iron Bundle is what Deli Bird should have been. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's the fact that it's actually useful as well that makes me like it a little bit more. But it's just like really cute, you know? Uh, in spite of its head kind of like popping off sometimes, and that's a little creepy, but... Yeah, other than that, no, it's it's a top tier design. I like it a lot. I even uh, shiny hunted for it. I got a shiny of it. Uh, Iron Hands. Iron Hands is most definitely A tier. I like Iron Hands quite a bit. Hariyama is like underrated. I think Hariyama is like a really cool Pokemon that not a lot of people talk about. And Iron Hands is just cooler Hariyama. So, hey, what's not to like? Also, electric fighting type, you can't go wrong with that typing. Iron Jugulus, disappointment. The worst, the worst Paradox Mon in the whole game. There is no contest. If you say any other Pokemon or Paradox Mon is the worst, you need to have your head checked. That's just all there is to it. Because Iron Jugulus is literally, it's literally Hydreigon, but a robot. And in my, my opinion, it looks worse than High Dragon. So, yeah, no. Uh, Iron Jugulus sucks. Iron Mock. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna have to put Iron Mock in C tier. Because, um. It's cool. Don't get me wrong. Like, I like Volcarona. But that's the thing, it looks just like Volcarona. But with like solar panel wings, you know? So I have to put it in C tier. But it's okay though. Now Iron Thorns, on the other hand. Yeah. I honestly think it's a it's an S tier design. Like I know some people don't like it. I think it's an S tier design. It's freaking cool. One of the better uh Paradox mods in my opinion. And it's shiny, it's godlike. And then Sandy Shocks. Sandy Shocks. A tier. I like Sandy Shocks a lot. It's just kind of, it's kind of weird. It's kind of awkward. You know, it's really silly. How it's just a giant clump of Magnus that walks. <laughs> but it's shiny is like super cool, and I like it a lot. So, yeah, no, it's it's amazing. Um, I forgot this what this thing is called. And uh, it doesn't really matter because it's going in D tier because it's super ugly. No one likes it. I honestly, I honestly like didn't even realize that it was even a thing until like way later because I caught Frigibax, I believe. I think I caught Frigibax before I caught this guy. Yeah, but um, yeah, no, it's ugly. Now Frigibax. Frigibax is pretty cool. Like, it's, it's definitely like a, a step up for sure. Like, the perfect middle stage. Like, for a middle stage, it's really cool. However, Max Caliber, kind of a disappointment for me, not gonna lie. I don't really care for Max Caliber all that much. Um, for a pseudo, he's just very boring. He's kind of down there with Gudra and Salamence, in my opinion. Um,. Yeah, I don't really care for Backscalibur all that much. I mean, it's oh, it's cool enough, hence the B tier. But for like a pseudo, it's very disappointing, and I'm not really a fan of it. 
Now, give me ghoul. Um, give me ghoul. It's okay. And by okay, I mean not not good at all. Like the gimmick is all right, but I it just looks so weird. Like I like the mimic uh, aspect of it, but it's just so weird, you know. Uh, and also <laughs> just roaming the world looking for those stupid gimmick ghouls that just left a bad taste in my mouth. So I'm not. I'm not a fan of Gimme Ghoul. However, Golden Go. Top tier design. I love Golden Go a lot. In fact, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna put Quackleball up here. Because Quackleball deserves it. Like, I, I love all these mons so much. Yeah, Golden Go is freaking cool. Uh, yes, he looks like the String Cheese Man. But what if the String Cheese Man was dope? You know what I'm saying? That's what Golden Go is. He surfs on money. Like, he's th he's literally, like, just throwing his money in your face. You know what I'm saying? He's just that rich. He's that much of a Chad. You know? So, yeah, no, Golden Go is cool. Wochin? S tier. I love Wochin so much. Like, it just has, like, this, like, old mystical like grandpa kind of vibe to it, you know what I'm saying? Like an old master kind of uh, vibe. It's really awesome. And it's very intimidating too, like it's eye placement is kind of creepy and I like that about it, you know? It's definitely my favorite of the beasts. Um, this guy, he's um, he's okay. I'm just gonna put him there. He's okay. I don't really like him that much. But he's alright. I've seen worse. Um not much to say about him. No, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put him Ting Lu in A tier. I mean he, he's he's cooler than uh what is it, Ching Pao? Their names are freaking weird, so excuse me if I say them wrong. But yeah. He's a lot cooler than Jean Powell, so I think I have to put him in A tier. The bowl crown is really cool, not gonna lie. Um, now, Chiyu, he's a little guy, you know? He's a little guy, but he will mess you up. Like, just ask Smog guy, you know? He will destroy you. Like, all of their abilities are, like, really good. Like, I think they're almost broken. Um, while Chiyu's and Jean Powell's is definitely broken. But yeah, no. Uh, I do like Chiyu. It's this little cute fire uh, fish that can absolutely decimate you. So that's all there is to it. What's not to like? Okay, the Roaring Moon. Bruh. Bruh. Roaring Moon. I have to put it, I have to put it S+. Plus. I have to. Roaring Moon is freaking cool. Like, that is top tier Paradox Mon design right there. Would I ever use it? Probably not. Like, it's typing doesn't really speak to me. I don't really like Dark and Dragon. But, design wise, it is superb. Supreme. Like, it's Mega Salamance, but better. Iron Valiant. Iron Valiant, it's S tier. It's S tier. I mean, it's Gordivore and, and Galate combined with a freaking double edged sword. What's not to love? Like, that is, like, I also um, got a shiny of that too. Like, I shiny hunted for it. I had to. Like, why, why would you shiny hunt for that thing? It's like a freaking Star Wars character. Like, let's just say Darth Maul. But it's like a robot. That's so cool. And lastly, we got our legendaries. And they are both going in A. I like them. Um, you know, they're not as cool as some of the other Pokemon in my opinion. But they are really majestic. I know that some people like, you know, Koridon more than Meteoridon. I like Meteoridon a little bit better. But, um... Just by a little bit. They're both really cool mods for sure. And uh, yeah, that 
is going to do it from my tier list. Like I said, uh, Cerulege, or Cerulege, uh, is my number one favorite Pokemon, hence why he's at the very top and at the front. And then, none of the other Mons are, like, really ordered, uh, by anything. But yeah, uh, and it was really fun to make this list. So, until next time, bye bye